परम शांति टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सीक्रेट बिहाइंड डेथ वाई एंड हाउ डिड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेथ ऑन अर्थ फर्स्ट कम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस वेन डिड द डेथ ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स ऑन अर्थ स्टार्ट दीज आर वेरी इंट्रीगिंग क्वेश्चन दैट हॉन द ह्यूमन माइंड नो बडी नोज द जेनेसिस ऑफ डेथ ऑन अर्थ इन अवर स्क्रिप्चर्स इट इज मैंशनड दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेथ वॉज इनिशिएटेड ऑन अर्थ बाय ब्रह्म When the earth was overpopulated it resulted in a tremendous increase in burden for earth this led to an increase in the negativity on earth so in order to maintain the balance on earth death was introduced by brahma but the reality of the genesis of death on earth is explained in this video one must understand the creation of this earth to understand the concept of death on earth In a separate video the creation of earth is explained in detail still in short the creation of earth is mentioned here to have a better understanding of the concept of death on earth the creator of a solar system is incorporeal shiv in order to create his solar system the incorporeal shiv assumed a supreme subtle form known as akari shiv akari shiv created his prakriti his divine feminine counterpart in a supreme subtle form known as akari shakti akari shiv and shakti created vishnu consequently vishnu created lakshmi both vishnu and lakshmi created brahma brahma created his shakti known as brahmani then brahma created saptarishis and the saptarishis created very pure creations known as farishtas or param purush whose souls were made of supreme light and their bodies were made of supreme elements since then 50 years of brahma has been elapsed which is estimated to be around 160 trillion human years as per the time scale of earth the earth has been in existence for about 40 years of brahma's life which is around 125 trillion human years In the beginning of creation the solar system was only made of supreme elements then how was this earth of physical elements formed the reason for this needs to be understood in order to understand the genesis of death on earth initially there were only param purush also known as farishtas in this solar system then these param purush created param prakriti from their soul power just like how vishnu created lakshmi even in our scriptures the process of creation of the solar system is mentioned with detailed description including how in corporeal shiv created vishnu brahma shankar and how brahma further created the saptarishis all these things are true and actually happened in the history of our solar system which can be witnessed through the state of deep meditation So in the beginning of creation there was no concept of death in the solar system because initially the creation was divine and made of supreme light so the farishtas were also made of supreme light and supreme elements so the death of farishtas made of supreme elements and supreme light is not possible up to 10 years of brahma there were only farishtas in the solar system and there was no creation made of physical elements hence there was no concept of death in the solar system till 10 years of brahma as the time progressed the degradation of the farishtas took place and they became deities of three elements from their original immortal divine supreme elements gradually the deities further degraded and became human beings in physical forms made of five elements then brahma made the earth to accommodate the five element physical creations in the solar system in the beginning when earth was first created the five elements were very light the earth became filled with darkness as the souls lost their effulgence and soul power so at that time the sun was created to remove the darkness on earth in the beginning the sun was emitting radiations of supreme fire and it was very soothing and not so harsh as we see today 
At that time, the sun was revolving around the earth to provide light and heat to earth for the sustenance of physical creation on earth. As time progressed, all deities became human beings on earth as they lost, lost their soul power. This is the time when the invisible creation of the subtle world that is Avyakta Dunya manifested into the visible physical creation that is Vyakta Dunya on earth. But at that time, there was, there was still no concept of death on earth because the human body was still lighter back then due to the presence of a small amount of supreme elements inside it. The body composition has to be understood for all the stages of soul which is from Farishtas to human form. The body of a Farishta was made of only supreme elements. The body composition of a deities was made of a combination of three elements and supreme elements. In the beginning, the body of humans on earth was composed of the combination of the three layers. The innermost layer of was supreme elements, then it was followed by three elements and then the outermost layer was of the physical elements like water and earth. But their percentage was very low. So there was still some percentage of supreme elements inside their body. So in the beginning, even in a physical form, the human body was very light and their souls had a sufficient power to take a subtle form and go from physical, visible form to invisible at their will. At that time, humans on earth could travel to a higher dimensions of this solar system, like to the third or fourth layers as per their affirmations. So their affirmations had sufficient power in them to be able to travel to the subtle world as per their desires by transforming their physical bodies to a subtle bodies. This process continued on earth for 10 years of Brahma after the creation of earth. So there was no concept of death on earth up to 10 years of Brahma's life after the creation of earth. Earth was created after 10 years of Brahma's life and then after the creation of earth, there was no concept of death on earth for another 10 years of Brahma. So after 20 years of Brahma's life, gradually the content of supreme elements in the human body diminished to null and the water and earth element become predominant in the human body. So the death of human beings on earth started. Due to the increase in the content of water and earth elements, the human body became heavier, so the human body was subjected to deterioration and death, and their souls lost all the power of affirmation to be able to travel to higher dimensions at their will. After the inception of death on earth, the cycle of four yugas, Satyuk, Treta Yug, Dwapar Yug, and Kalyuk started on earth. As time progressed, more and more souls from the subtle world had fallen down to earth into physical form due to loss of power in their souls. The number of human population on earth gradually increased along with other animals as well. Due to multiple desires, humans on earth also created many types of creations like a variety of animals on earth for their entertainment. This caused the earth to be filled with a variety of life forms along with the human life forms. So the earth got crowded as there was no death on earth at that time. In the beginning of creation of earth, the souls had a power to transform from a visible physical form to an invisible subtle form. So the souls had a power of affirmations to be able to leave the earth plane as per their will. But gradually the soul lost all power and was subjected to complete ignorance in their physical world and came into the stage of soul known as Tamo Pradhan. This is the time when the soul lost its power of affirmations to be able to escape from their physical form on earth as per their will. So the souls fell down on earth in human forms but could not escape from the physical body. This resulted in the overcrowding of earth. Then Brahma created Yamlok, which was led by a deity named as Yamraj, who was responsible for the death of humans on earth. 
the job of Yamri Yamraj was to keep the complete accounts of all human beings on earth through Chitragupta and to cause death to humans whose time was over on earth. At the time of death of humans on earth, Yamraj used to send his agents known as Yamdut to take the souls of the human, human beings to Yamlok so that the death of human beings could occur as per schedule in order to maintain the balance on earth. After bringing the soul to Yamlok, the complete accounts of a soul would, would to be put before the soul and based on karmic accounts of a soul, the decision was accordingly taken by Yamraj whether to send the souls to the heaven that is Swarglok or to hell that is Narg. In this way, as more and more souls were sent to hell, more numbers of nether worlds or hells, which were seven pata loks, were created to accommodate those degraded souls. It is said that the age of humans on earth in Satyug was one lakh years. Many people doubt this, but this is actually true, and one lakh years of lifespan of humans was the reality in the Satyug of this Karan Chaturyug. In this Satyu, King Prithu ruled this earth for 40,000 years. Generally, during the period of Satyu, the souls had the power to leave the earth as per their desire, so Yamraj had no work in Satyu. Thus, during Satyu, souls could leave their human body as and when they want and can acquire a subtle form which is known as death at will, that is, Ichamrityu. The job of Yamraj used to start in the middle of Treta Yuga and would last till the end of Kali Yuga. Thus, Yamlok used to be on vacation in Satyug till the middle of Treta Yuga. Now, there is no such Yamlok in our solar system. It was there at the earlier period. Now, 30 years of Brahma had, have already passed since the concept of death started on Earth, which means Around 93 trillion human years have already been elapsed on Earth. So uncountable numbers of cycles of Chaturyug have been completed on Earth. The Earth is subjected to periodic dissolution like partial dissolution, great dissolution that is Kalprale, etc. as the negativity increases on Earth. The Earth is also known as mortal world or Mrityulok. The souls who have the power to go to higher dimensions of the divine world never like to come to this mortal world. But still some souls used to come to earth with the thought that they would be able to return after spending some time on earth, just like how humans on earth travel from one place to another. But the souls generally cannot escape the entrapment of the physical form due to the loss of power in their soul that happens when they come to earth. The souls who fell down to earth and acquired a physical form gradually developed attachment to their bodies and they did not want to leave their physical bodies. In this case, Yamraj used to forcefully drag their souls from their body to cause their death on earth. And there were some souls who wanted to leave their body but they had no knowledge about how to do it. So in the earlier times, this resulted in many sages running away to forests to spend the time in seclusion and to do penance to be rid of their physical body. But those sages and rishis had no knowledge of the soul at that time. So they were engaged in the activity of awakening their internal power of energy centers in their body known as Kundalini Shakti. In this way, Many methods were adopted by those sages to escape from this physical entrapment on earth, which are not mentioned in present day scriptures. The job of Yamraj was to cause death of humans only and not of animals. In the case of animals, if the number of one of the categories of animals increased, then another animal was created to consume the category of animal whose number has been increased and so on. In the animal kingdom, one animal feeds on another in a systematic way and a food chain is created to maintain, nurture in a sustainable manner without human interference. Yamraj had no role in causing death for the animals. Now there is no Yamlok, 
The earth and the solar system has been changing continuously with time. It is like how earlier there was a system of monarchy or kingship on earth, but now democracy sets in everywhere. All changes on earth are related to the changes occurring in the subtle world. The rules of earth and the solar system have been changing simultaneously with time. This video is also available in Hindi. The link is in the description box. Thank you. Param Shanti.